let's look at the logit equation a little more in detail. Now we know that uh, the log of odds is equal to the equation where beta naught plus uh, beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 so on till beta n xn. This is my logistic regression equation where beta naught, beta 1, beta 2 are the estimates and x1, x2 till xn are my individual independent variables. How do I convert this from log odds to the probability of an event happening? Now log odds is nothing but uh, the log of uh, p over 1 minus p which is uh, the odds ratio as we covered before. And let's call this regression equation beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 all the way till beta n xn as uh, simply the, uh, the regression equation z which is over here. So now if log of p over 1 minus p is equal to uh, my regression equation, let's solve for p. So if I take away the log from this side, so this becomes p over 1 minus p is equal to e raised to power z. So I uh, multiply on both sides by, uh, by uh, 1 minus p. I simply take this on the other side. Therefore, p becomes equal to 1 minus p into e raised to power z. Let's open up this bracket. p is equal to e raised to power z minus uh, e raised to power z into p. And this is p. So let's take p to this term on the left hand side. This becomes p plus e raised to power z. p is equal to e raised to power z. Take p common. 1 plus e raised to power z is equal to e raised to power z. And then finally p becomes equal to so p is equal to e raised to power z over 1 plus e raised to power z which is the same as over here where probability is a function of z where z is the regression equation or probability is e raised to power z over 1 plus e raised to power z and we can also multiply by e to raised to power z on both the numerator and denominator which becomes 1 over 1 plus e raised to power minus z. So both of these two terms essentially mean the same thing and here we just solved it using normal algebra where probability is simply e raised to power z over 1 plus e raised to power z, z being the logistic regression equation that we just covered. Now this was the, the in, in, in just you know 15 minutes of lectures we cannot cover all the mathematics behind logistic regression but this is intended to give just a brief introduction what do we mean by the odds, what is the logic transformation and how does uh, logistic regression work in the background. And what we will do in our next lecture is we want to talk about the log loss function a uh, little more in detail and how we can use the log loss function to actually build a regression equation in uh, Excel itself.